Hello guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today I am going to be hunting for a massive bison that I spotted and also a really nice sized pronghorn. But first, I've got to show you these clips of recent hunts. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, so today I saw a um, level 5 bison down at this lake. But while I was just up here kind of hunting around, um, waiting to do this video, I found a level 5 pronghorn that might make it. Now today I am going to be using some of the ARs, but I wanted to try to shoot that bison with the longbow, the recurve bow. I don't know. I didn't click that. Yeah, they, they really need to change how to pull the camera up on console. Uh, EW, if you're watching this, please try to do something. I, I think you might be able to reroute it somewhere in the settings, but uh, there is a level 5. I'm spooking something. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I am guess it's not that frog horde, though, because I did see um, there's an elk wandering all around here, and that's most likely what it is that I'm spooking. It wasn't a big one, just a level three, I think it was minimum weight and minimum weight estimate. But now I'm trying to find the track of this potential diamond now his estimate went up to 99 but he had super big horns so i'm really wondering um what he is um and i'm kind of just looking for the track right here is it um so basically i'm just going to be kind of searching for this guy and then if we get this guy um We'll be looking for our bison, in fact. Light brown turkey alert. Well, now I kind of wish I didn't do that because now I lost the track. Not a big deal, though. Just to pick that up. And then that leads us over there. So he probably went to the fields. Um, his feed time did just end, it looks like. Um, and... Yeah, let's try to find them. I 
think we might be able to. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's see, do 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 do. Uh, that could be him somewhere over there. That's our elk. <laughs> He's not a big guy. Um, they're spooking. Maybe this isn't where he was. Maybe this was a whole different guy. Uh, but yeah, he was a level five. He looked like he had giant, giant horns, but they, his estimate was low, so I don't know exactly what he will score. <laughs> he could troll. Maybe he. Because I've never seen a level 5 pronghorn. I've never seen anything uh, like that. <laughs> um, however, I have seen. Um, what the heck? Was that the 360 glitch again? I haven't seen that for a while, but that might have been the 360 glitch. Um. Maybe with the update, that's something that that happened. But oh, there's his track, by the way. Is he somewhere just hiding? I'd like to find him. Was that a bison that I saw? I don't know. I assume it was a small guy because he didn't look at all big. Um, <laughs> for what I saw, if it even was a bison. Now it looks like. He was kind of just, oh, he, shoot, he went to a run, so, <laughs> yeah, that's not the best. Uh, that, that's not what we want, really, that we're looking for him to be just kind of chill. That could very easily be him. Okay, I'm close to spooking whatever this is, um... Where are we? Oh, yeah, we're down by Bison Lake. That's a four with a giant estimate. But does it have potential? Yes, there he is. Yeah, so... I'm going to try to take them with the AR-15-223. Um, I have my goose call on me, actually, because I was doing some goose hunting earlier, and I forgot to change my loadout up. So, yeah, he's still fleeing there. Now, I'm just going to kind of hope for him to slow down, chillax, and let me get a shot off on him, but... If not, we'll keep on tracking him. There, now he's down to alert. 190 out. I'm going to try it once he gives me a broadside shot because I do not trust the 223 on Pronghorn. I think the 223, good gun, but really it's not great in this game. I'm going to try to sort of like jump him up-ish. Because I like him to turn broadside. That's kind of weird out. The broadside. Sounded like, yeah. I don't know. Sounded like some kind of accent. Oh, there. There. So he's just standing there. Now... I can take him from there, I guess. Again, though, it's risky. It's not the safest shot, but look at those massive horns on him. Um, I, I'll probably taxidermize this, even if he is just a gold. I like to do that with max level animals. Um, it's I've done I've not taxidermized Gemsbach. Um, okay. I don't know how to tell. Oh, I think we got him. 
I think we may have barely got him. Shoot, he's like really. I'll just let it be like that. Um, and I'm gonna go back and look to see if I got a vital hit. I just don't really want to be like very sad when I pick him up and I see, oh shoot, I messed him up. He was the 99.99 score. <laughs> That's the highest he could be with that estimate. So, whoops, that was not. That could actually be our bison because this is about where he was, but I don't think we're going to worry about him. <laughs> Uh, cause he probably isn't the bison. Um, oh yeah, we got vital. Nice. So, that is very good, actually. Um, I am glad that we got that guy down. Um, he was definitely a big guy. He wasn't messing around. Um, of course, he could troll. That's still a possibility. Um, I'm gonna guess... He might barely make it. Um, just because of those horns, they look huge to me. But again, that might just because he... That might be because he's just a level 5 and I've never seen one. And, you know, those horns are, of course, big. Uh, yeah. But we're just gonna go try to pick this guy up. And see what we've got out of him. I'm... I don't know. I'm just not gonna I'm gonna keep my expectations low there's actually my outpost okay that guy keeps yelling at us we might just take him with the 300 um if we have to I don't know I kind of do want to get him with the bow uh yeah but really whatever um Whatever works, works, if we can take him with the... Shoot, did, did he go out of render and disappear? Is that still a thing? Please, please say no. He might have went out of render distance or whatever. And therefore disappeared, which it can happen. That or he's probably over this hill. There he is, okay. So, I mean, he's a good-looking pronghorn. I don't know if he'll make it or not, but I can try and make something work out of this. He is a diamond. Wow. Um, I do like the new medals for diamonds. That is amazing. So, we shot him right as he was turning there with the 223 Midnight. Um, there's a 15... Yeah. Um, not bad. Uh, zero percent quick kill. It's not much of a surprise. I mean, it, the AR fifty, the two twenty threes in this game, they're just really underpowered. I is that max weight? Six. That seems like no. I don't think so. I think they can actually get to sixty five ish. But that's cool. That's really cool. Well, now we've got a bison to chase. Um, if we don't get him today, of course, we'll chase him a different time. Not a big deal if we don't get him. Um, I do kind of... I'm excited to try to find him, though. So, anyway, that is going to be nice for the lodge. Let's set the time at the outpost up here. And then we're going to head straight to where we saw him. And we might just take him with the 300, or we could take him with the uh, recurve. Um, either way, uh, I think we should be able to get him down. Uh, let's see, I just forgot. I think it's 10 to 11. Just want to make sure, yeah, it is. So, like, 10, uh, yeah, 10, 05 whatever really anything 10 or over works even like 959 that that would work also so yeah um I, I'm really hoping we could find this thing 
Yeah. So we're just gonna head over there and see what the heck we find. The wind is absolutely terrible. Um, hopefully it shifts. Um, on the way there, but I don't know if it will. It might not. If it doesn't, I'd be sad. I I would be sad. I'd probably just take them with the three hundred. Honestly, if I have to, like, I kind I really like the idea of getting him with the recurve. And actually, before I forget, I don't have the right ammo or sorry arrows and the recurve bow. So let me just put those in seven hundred grains. Yeah, that that's a really big arrow. Um, seven hundred grit. Yeah, that's massive. Um, I could definitely see a Native American taking down a bison with that. Um, in the old times, yeah. Um, but we're just gonna head straight over there. Hopefully, our bison is there. Um. It's funny, because when I was checking out this lake, I was, um, I was just looking, because I knew this was a good lake for bison, and I was wondering, maybe there's a level 5, um, and then all these different ones kept rendering in, so I keep spotting, and then I see a level 5, so that's pretty good. Now, I don't think that it's at all a guarantee that he will make it, um, his estimate, I think, went to 234 or 235 or so, something about like that. And that's not the highest estimate ever, but we'll see if he makes it. I mean, that the pronghorn's estimate there, it didn't have a very high estimate at all. And actually, speaking of pronghorn, I could take it. Or I could just let him go. Which I think we'll do, honestly. I I'd see no point in shooting him. That looks... Like, about the area where our guy was. So if you would render in, that would be nice. Uh, who knows, maybe he's not over there. Huh, that, that's weird. I can't see him. Now, that guy's, yeah, just running away. Huh, where, where is this thing? <laughs> like, I'm actually beginning to kind of be worried. Um, yeah, it's a drink zone here. Is that something? Appears that he's literally just not... At the lake yet? Um. Oh, is that him? No. <laughs> okay, well, where is this guy, huh? I don't know. I do kind of want to get a practice shot, though. So oh, if I have to, I'll do that. It's a decent little elk. Um. Huh, so I, I'm going to keep on looking for this thing. And, you know, hopefully find it. Now they're alert, and this guy's fleeing. Okay, I heard, yeah, the warning call is there. That guy's fleeing, this guy's alert. Huh, um... This is not looking amazing. I think I've got to take him, if we find him, um, I've got to take him probably with the, oh shoot, okay, I fled that guy out. I think I've got to take him with the 300. I, I just don't see a way if we're going to sneak up on this thing and, you know, shoot him with the bow. I really don't know where the heck this thing is. He's fleeing. That's a mating call. That's him. Okay, so, yeah, 232 is where he was maxing at. So, we can either try to get an insane bow shot where the wind is facing straight at him, or we could just go for the safe 
300 win mag. Get it done. I, I don't know. I feel like we might try to get as close as possible. Um, and, oh, he's already alert. Yeah, we're taking him with the 300. He's fleeing, seriously. Now, they do flee very slowly, so this is not the end of the world. Um, heh. So, that got him. Okay, well, this is where we're going to finish off the video, I guess. We're going to try to get this guy and see if he makes it. Um... His horns look really, really big. Um, however, I have no idea how bison work. Because, again, I've never seen a level 5 bison. Um, I've seen big level 4s, but they look smaller than this. So, yeah, I, I really don't know. Um, I have no idea if we're going to find out. Uh, sorry. If we're going to see diamond here. He looks, again, like he looks big. He looks huge, but he actually made it. Wow, he's a big one, too. Okay, that is really cool. Diamond Plains Bison. So that's a double diamond video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and um, I'll for sure see you next time. Uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Click that like button like button the bell button and yeah you know just do all the good things for the algorithm anyway bye